Simple in-out is the best digital in-out board out there. But digital in-out boards are only good if you have your users on the board. So today, I'm gonna walk you through how to manage users in Simple in-out. It's worth noting right off the top that you can manage your users in Simple in-out on our website, which is simpleinout.com. You can also manage users on our phone apps and our desktop apps and all these various other places where Simple in-out is. So in order to manage users, you will need to have the manage, you'll need to be an administrator and have the manage company and users permission um, in order to be able to do this. If you can, here we are on simpleandout.com, you'll notice you have an add users button uh, right up above the board. This is where we go to add more people to our simple and out board. So if I click on add users, uh, you'll be presented with a few options that you have in order to add users. So by default, you'll be in our single user ad where you can add a single user at a time. We can also click over here on our multiple users and you can add multiple users at once. Uh, by doing this, you basically add all of the emails for the people you want, comma, separated into this list. And you can add all of these people at one in one shot. Uh, when you do this, we'll just set their name to their email address. And all of those users will receive emails, uh, allowing them to uh, choose their password and get started. When they do that, then they can change their name to their regular name, add their phone number, do a bunch of other things, and basically get themselves set up um, after the fact. So multiple users, great way to get a lot of users in at once. We also have a feature called invites where you can invite users. And invite users is a great way to be able to just generate a link that you can hand users and let them sign up. So they can sign up themselves, add their name um, and their email and get everything properly set up the first time around. Uh, we have a separate video on how to do invites. So we're not gonna talk about invites today, but we're gonna go back to the single user and talk about adding a single user. So let's go ahead and get that done. So let's go ahead and add a user. We're gonna call this user, uh, we're gonna say this is Bojack Horseman. And we'll need an email address. And uh, I'm in this Arlington Financials, our test company here. Um, so then we have details. You could add details if you wish. Some, some customers use this for uh, title information. Some of it use it for scheduling. Some of it use it for um, you know, anything under the sky uh, you can use this for. In my case, I'll just use this for the title and I'll just say uh, he's a chief consultant, we'll say. Okay, so the next decision we have to make is what role we need the user in. So roles are what permissions this user has. So if I select this here, we have, in this case, we have four roles we could choose from. Administrator, limited user, a manager, or a regular user. Um, it's worth noting, if you're not clear on what the role can do, we have this handy uh, button right over here. And if you click on that, that will tell you what this role is capable of. So this regular user can view all the users on the board. They can manage their own scheduled statuses and current status, so on and so forth. And so this will tell you what a user can do. And if I change this, as you can see, this will change in real time to tell you the different things that this user can do by default. We do have a separate video also for permissions and privileges where we go through roles and we go through the role manager and how to configure your roles or add new roles uh, to make this work. For now, we're gonna say that Bojack's just a regular user and I'm gonna click this again just to close it. Okay, so now we can also add uh, groups. So we're gonna add the user to a group if we want. So here I can go in here and I can add them to the mortgage consultant. I can add Bojack to as many groups as I wish. And then there's phone numbers if I wish to add phone numbers. In this case, we will add a phone number. That seems pretty good. Okay, and then a note on passwords. You'll see that you're not allowed to choose the user's password. Instead, what we do is we email the user once we've created them. And that email will welcome the user to Simple and Out and allow them to choose their own password. This is important because choosing your own password is way more secure. That way you don't know the user's password. You don't have to worry about that getting out there or leaking. And the user can more easily remember a password that they choose versus one that you choose for them. So always wanna do that. So now we're good here. We're gonna have a BoJack Horseman user here who's gonna be in our mortgage consultant group with this phone number and they're gonna have regular user permissions. Sounds good, let's create this user. Now that we've created this user, you'll notice we have, uh, we have uh, this is a copy right here of the email ad that they'd be sent. So here's BoJack, we'll get this in his email inbox saying, hey, welcome to Simple and Out. Click here to begin using Simple and Out. And by clicking that, BoJack can then choose his password and get started. And as you can see in this email as well, we also provide some handy tips for how to get the most out of Simple and Out for your users. Okay, 
So, but let's get rid of this and go back to the board. So here we're back in the board and we'll notice we have a BoJack Horseman user now. So now if we want to edit this user, let's just say some time has passed, we want to edit the user. Uh, we can just click on this user. That'll pull up this uh, dialog that gives you the user's information. And then because again, I still have the ability to manage the company's users, I can edit this user by clicking this button here. And that'll bring us up in a BoJack Horseman's edit page where we'll notice a lot of the same choices that we were presented when we were adding the user in the first place. There are two things I wanna draw your attention to on this page. Uh, the first thing I'll draw your attention to is password. You'll note that we have indicated here that the user hasn't yet set their password. So the user hasn't clicked on the email and set their own password. You can choose the user's password on this screen. Now we recommend you do not do that. Uh, simply stated, uh, it's a security issue if you do, but there are cases where you may have to. Maybe the user has an overactive spam filter and the email is getting lost. Maybe the user uh, hasn't been able to get their email because of an email typo and they just wanna get into the system really quickly. So for those times, you do have the ability to choose the user's password if you must, even though again, we recommend you don't do that. Um, the second thing I wanna draw your attention to is the profile image. And so here's where you could upload a profile image for your user. Uh, by default, we use a service called Gravatar, which is run by wordpress.com, uh, which uses the user's email address and tries to, get, and tries to uh, present a profile image based on that. But you can upload one right here. The users themselves have more options. They can even grab an image off of Facebook or Twitter, some of the popular social media sites. Um, obviously, we can't do that here because, well, you know, my, prof my social media profile wouldn't be very good for this user. Um, so this is how you can edit a user. So the final thing we want to talk about in this video is how you get rid of a user. And so down here, we have this bottom options. We have two different options for how to get rid of a user. You can either archive the user or delete the user. The, the difference is archiving a user will take the user off the board, but the user still stays in your data and you can still go run reports on that user historically and that data is still maintained. You could also then bring that user back, uh, letting the user choose a new password and they'd be right back uh, with all the data that they had in the past. Where deleting a user is a permanent deletion. We delete all of their data immediately, take them off the board as well. So you can choose which one of these right for you based on, um, based on mostly your reporting requirements and whether or not you need to keep that data around long term. Uh, for now, in this case, I'm going to delete Bojack. So I'm gonna delete, and of course we get a confirmation going, are you sure you wanna do this? All data will be destroyed permanently. Um, in this case, yes, I do actually wanna do this. So I'm gonna click okay. Back to the board we go, and no more Bojack Horseman. So that is how you can manage users in simple and out. It's pretty simple, but of course, incredibly important because without users on your in-out board, your in-out board's not very useful.